Hello and back again. I tried for quite a while to get my hands on an Ovation SL Mark III and finally I got one here. And it's a very interesting device. You can do a lot of controlling. You can control via MIDI, USB, CV. It has a sequencer, keyboard, transport controller and much more stuff in it. And what I was totally interested in is what can you actually do with a DAW? Bad news first, you cannot change uh, the displays. There's no programming API or anything for the displays, but there are several ways which you can use a device and control a door. Actually, there are three options. You can have normal MIDI control. For Bitwig, this means you can, for example, use my Driven by Moss generic Flexi extension, which gives you the possibility to use eight knobs up here 16 buttons here and eight faders down here and also those pads and you can also use the transport but with the transport it's a little bit difficult because it will also start the playback of the sequencer so this is something to take a bit care of that this has a double function but by only using also the knobs and the faders and all those buttons you can map I guess basically every feature that generic flexi provides you so you can control devices clips your tracks volumes panorama sense all the stuff the drawbacks with that are that you don't get any feedback so for example if you change your fader volume or change your panorama it's not updated in a display so you are stuck with the value that you last changed the fader or the knob on the device. Uh, second drawback is you don't see any track names or device names or all those things but for controlling it's already quite powerful. The second option is a bit of a strange one, I think, because they implemented the Mackie Hui protocol, which is quite old. It was one of the first uh, digital controllers for Mackie, and it's a bit limited. For example, you have track names, but it's only four characters, which works fine for bass, but for all the real work, it's not so helpful. And uh, also, you don't get any device editing. And uh, yeah, with Driven by Moss version 6 I also added to support this the Mackie Hui protocol is available now I will look into that into a follow-up video how you can use this Mackie Hui extension coming with driven by Moss to use the Novation as L Mark 3 as a controller then there is the Ableton mode uh, which gives you I think best of both worlds but I need to investigate this a bit more what you can do but I hope that you can control most of the stuff. But I think it's we're stuck with the features that Ableton gives you, and still generic flexi gives you some more options and functions which you can use. But let's see how that will work. Okay, so much for first introduction. And as I said in the next video, I will look into the Mackie Hui protocol using here with the Novation. And until then, make some funky music. <laughs> <laughs>